All right, it is time for another Saturday matchup. Oh, wow, this one. Two teams who are wishing this season just didn't turn out the way it did. Uh, Man U versus Aston Villa. Aston Villa, the only thing that I saw that was good about them this week was their under-21s who got in a fight with West Ham. Oh, that was good. That was pretty good. That was really good. <laughs> hey, way to show some pluck. Huh? <laughs> Please trade us. Please trade us. Um, and then Man U, who just had uh, the crap kicked out of them by the Spurs. Pretty much the second Spurs team. Uh, Andy... Uh, how do you see this game going? Villa's sort of crap, but Man U is, you know, injured and, and all over the place. Man U were awful last week. I was at the game. People that Man U fans that were going, oh, we had, we were, you know, we were, we were the top team for the first 20 minutes. You were the team that showed up for the first 20 minutes. I mean, Spurs didn't turn up. The minute Pochettino got out of his seat and shouted at Spurs, it was game over. Um, they were really bad, uh, but they're playing Villa, so. <laughs> <laughs> If, if, if you're going to get beaten up 3-0 at White Hart Lane, <laughs> the best you can hope for the following week is, is a home match against Aston Villa. All their troubles will be gone. They'll win this easily because it's Aston Villa. Um, yeah, United, they need to make a lot of changes in a lot of places. They, they've got to stop these... Ed Woodward's got to stop running around thinking he's going to sign Gareth Bale. That's not going to happen. They've got to stop running around thinking Ronaldo's going to come back. That's not going to happen. <laughs> What Jose that, Mourinho, coming Mourinho coming to manage him? I don't know. Mourinho, is that going to do anything? He's a kind of, you know, Benitez is past it. Let's not forget Mourinho did mess up Chelsea. I don't know. Is he the greatest manager in the world? Oh, Stop shaking, oh. Tyrone. He messed you up. <laughs> he messed you up. Chelsea would not be in the bottom half if Mourinho would bug it off after three matches. And you know that. Right, uh, it, it's Barino is a he's a busted fucking flush, uh, okay. and he's not the man. He's not the man to take Man United forward. Um, but that's that's for another show. Two 0 Man United, uh, and no one will be watching. No one will be watching. Uh, Jamie, uh, one of the things I look at Man United, they have so many guys, so many good guys, and that they're always either injured and you've got too many players, players that get away. You know, that little uh, Chicharito guy, he was good, the little P, you know, the, so many guys that they got. So is, what's the problem? What have they got going on? In well, I mean, he, he didn't work there because Wayne Rooney's there. And yeah. he's got, he, he, I think he's got a contract where it says he has to play every single game. He has to be the front. smallest man on the field. Well, he has to play every single game. Otherwise, why would they play him when he hasn't scored in... I, mean, I'm not, I, I don't like to criticise Rooney because I think yeah. he's still a world-class player. He's not as good as he used to be, but he's still very, very good. Might be back for this one, which... Uh, <laughs> that could be fun. Yeah. Um, they're not going to catch Man City, in my opinion, in uh, fourth place, United. So, I mean, they're not really playing for anything. I mean, they could go for the Europa. They've got the FA Cup, which they might go out of tonight. The Europa League, would they want to play in that next season? I'm not sure whether Mourinho would really give a shit about that, to be honest. Um, but they, they have got the best goalie in the league in De Gea. It's not really, in terms of daily fantasy, it's not going to matter here because he's not going to have any saves to make. <laughs> Made seven against Spurs, which tells you we need to know about that game. Could have been way more goals from that standpoint. Um, Villa have lost eight games in a row. That makes Palace look quite good with their 14-game uh, run without winning a game. Scored two goals in the last six games. Uh, there's, they're a team making Newcastle look good, which is not a good thing. They're going to lose... I'm just not confident in Man United scoring that many goals. I'm going to go 2-0 just to be... But it could well be 6 or 7 if they if Rooney clicks with Martial and they have a good day. Another 2-0. Uh, Tyrone, Andy, got your uh, your piss flaps up in a... By what? Your piss flaps. <coughs> My piss flaps? That's a North American expression. Okay. Yeah, it's your lips. <laughs> um, got you all, all up in a tizzy. Uh... Uh, well, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore his little rant about Mourinho. Mourinho is one of the greatest managers of all time. I don't think there's any difference there. I think there was so much more to the uh, the absolute soap opera that was Chelsea and is Chelsea this season than uh, just Mourinho suddenly becoming a bad manager. I don't think that's, uh, that's the case at all. But we'll have a fight afterwards about it. It's My point is that he's toxic and Man United don't need a manager that's going to make them toxic. I... Disagree. I think he'll go in. He'll steady that ship. He will definitely steady, steady that ship. But he's got big decisions to make because, like we pointed out, they've got some really poor players. They really have. And I mean, they've been a bit unlucky with injuries. The, the Rooney injury has been. I, I think that's been definitely been a factor. Uh, there's not been one defender that hasn't been cropped at one point this season for him, I believe. Uh, but there we go. I mean, were they found out against Tottenham? No. I, I called it. I thought it'd be a three 0 beating because I think. Tottenham are a a very good team and b the first really good team they've played in some time. Uh, so there we go, the ghost of Pedro Mendes finally laid to rest. I imagine <sighs> <laughs> it still burns them. But um, 
<laughs> it does. But there we go. They're playing Villa. What more can we say about Villa? They, uh, <laughs> They've cancelled their, their end of season party. Did you read that? Cancelled it. Why? <laughs> they need a drink, these guys. They do, they? Uh, but they don't deserve it because they've been bloody awful. They've been the worst. Did they make a deposit on the book at Nando's? I have no idea. No. <laughs> 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 it was Wagamama's, I think. But there we are. It's, that's, their season's so over, they're not even going to celebrate it. Quite rightly, they've got to prepare for next year, uh, which will be a tough one from down there in the Championship. This will be, yeah, uh, I think this will be a good game for Man U. I think it's a, a perfect rebound after the beating they got on Sunday. They will beat up Aston Villa 3-0. Might even be more, I think, actually, um, because Villa are just beyond beyond gone mentally, beyond gone physically, and uh, now confirmed to be gone from the Premier League. I think the interesting thing about this one is that Ashley Young could send them down. Oh, their ex-player. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Burn. Mm. Yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> well, you heard it from our panel here. They all say uh, Man U is going to thrash Villa. Uh, good DFS implications here. If you look at DraftKings, look at the Manchester United team, and don't look at the Aston Villa goalie. Make your own lineup at DraftKings.co.uk. Welcome to the big time.